Hey, Jody here with the Wellmonger Store. I've got a good video for you today, but before we get into that, I want to take just a second and show you some new products that I just added to the store. A quick glance at them right here, and then at the end of the video, I'll go over them in about a one-minute slideshow, one by one. Let's do it. I got some basic cleaning stuff, and then some safety stuff, some marking stuff, and a couple other basic items. This piece of dirty aluminum has been sitting in a bucket. It got wet. It's been in there with some steel for at least a couple of years. That cleaning action is really working hard here to try to break that stuff up. But this is not what we're looking for. Same piece, cleaned briefly with a flap disc that's designed to work on aluminum. It's designed not to produce a lot of heat so it won't smear oxides. And so it just removed oxides without smearing any oxides into the base metal. Let's just quickly run a bead on that same piece of aluminum. This just squishes all the fun out of TIG welding aluminum. Crud floating around in the puddle, and it's almost a guarantee if we were to grind that off, sand it off, it'd be some porosity in that. All right, so what is the proper way to clean aluminum? Well, in my opinion, there's no single proper way. It's only what's, what's appropriate for the application. Let's just open up the conversation some more. Let's get with it. I got a free sample wheel at a Fabtech one time. This one's made by Walter and it's designed for sanding aluminum. It's Enduroflex Alu, I believe what it's called, but it just cuts without any effort. You don't generate any heat, so you don't smear any oxides. That's all I'm gonna do to that one. Let's look at a bead on that real quick. Aside from me uh, flopping the tip of that filler rod all around here, it's welding pretty clean. Nice shiny puddle, not a whole lot of crud floating around in there. No black soot, no pepper in the puddle, no brown haze surrounding the puddle from stuff cooking out. That's kind of what you want to see. There are applications on new metal where a simple wipe with acetone is good enough. In a recent video, my friend Andrew Carden was welding some outside corner joints on some brand new aluminum that I had ordered. A simple wipe down. I think we just use a dry cloth on this. Acetone certainly wouldn't have hurt anything. But it sure did come out nice and clean anyway. Cleaning aluminum for a weld test that's going to be x-rayed is entirely different. And in that case, cleaning the sheared edge is super important. A sheared edge is ragged. It could have oil and grit entrapped in it. And if I had to choose one thing to do and one thing only, I would file that sheared edge for a weld test. On a test, I would wipe it down with acetone first and file the edge and then use a fine stainless steel, low RPM, with low pressure, so you don't smear any oxides into the base metal, and make sure to wipe the filler metal also. Every little bit helps on a weld test. If you clean everything right, and you've got the right argon, the right cup size, the right flow rate, when your weld puddle comes out nice and clean and shiny with no specks in it, you got a lot of confidence that you're going to pass that test but you don't really know for sure until the x-ray results come back. There are aluminum cleaning solutions available that sometimes work pretty good. Usually they're an alkaline based type of a cleaner with sodium hydroxide and some other things in it. Just depends on what you're doing. For this particular video I did, I washed it down with that Dynaflux cleaner made for a nice clean puddle and a nice finish. For cast aluminum, you do what you can do. You grind, you, you use a carbide burr, you wire brush, you get it as clean as you can, but sometimes there's just still stuff in there. And one thing I've found to help is just to kind of let that cleaning action do a little cooking first before you puddle the metal. And also, a gas lens helps. I like a number eight for cast. A gas lens actually makes that cleaning action fan out a little bit more than a standard cup. Usually, there are exceptions. Another thing with cast aluminum is just not to outrun your cleaning action, so you kind of want to go along nice and slow. If you have some tricks for cleaning aluminum or a preferred method that works great for you, drop them in the comments. We'd sure all like to know. All right, let's start with some cleaning supplies here. Tub of towels, heavy-duty cleaning wipes. I've also got these little alcohol preps that can be used for first aid as well as cleaning your filler metal. Scott Shop Paper Towels, Scotch Bright, Purple Nitro Gloves for when you're using acetone, 3M N95 masks, simple wraparound safety glasses from 3M, earplugs, 
This is the respirator that I've been wearing for years with these filters. 2097 filters that are good for kind of like uh, light duty nuisance vapors as well as particulates. 3M half face piece that fits under the helmet. For metal marking, soapstone, both round and flat. Silver pencils for when you need a finer mark than soapstone for cutting with a torch or plasma cutter. And silver streak markers with the refills. And different color metal markers, paint markers. Old school chip and hammer, Weiler stainless steel toothbrush. More to come.